Hello everybody, I'm Boaz Fader, I'm an evolutionary astrologer and this is the evolutionary astrology forecast for the week between May 5th and 11th, 2019. <clears throat> we are opening this week with a new moon that is much more constructive, that is much more harmonious, that provides us with energy that we can build things with, things that can provide us with new structures and transformation eventually in our life things that could take us forward not just now but for many years to come that could set the azimuth and direction for things this is an important new moon this has always been an important new moon also in ancient cultures as the sun is at a middle of its journey at a middle point on its road to full summer and it's been celebrated in many ancient cultures, always, as a time, especially in the northern hemisphere, that is related to fruitening, that is related to blossoming, that is related to the coming back of light and warmth. To the be Actually, these are the ing ingredients that enable life to develop on this earth, to enable everything to flower and bloom and fruit. So as an analogy, this is a great time for us to do the gardening work required for this seed to bloom in full power. Hello, Georgia. Nice of you to join us. Wow. How are you doing? Pale. How are you, Georgia? Ah, I'm happy to hear that. Do you have anything to say about this new moon about this time? Well, that's, that's coming from you. That's a lot, Georgia. Nothing at all? You came here to make a big mess. That's what you came here to do, right? You want to speak about everything? No. You feel you have to go inside? Have you been meditating outside? Are you in Vipassana? That's why you're not speaking a lot? Practicing silence, Georgia. Anyway, I have to go back to the video. I'm sorry, Diane. Anyway. So, at ancient times, this has always been a symbolic time. A time of new birth. Literally, in nature, cubs are born. Animals are born. Hatchlings hatch. Women get pregnant. And we all get, you know, the juices start flowing. As nature awakens, the juices start flowing. The juices come, come back flowing, come back up flowing. Um, everything unfreezes. Everything unfreezes and melts down. And the waters come down from the mountains as great rivers. So, in our life, basically saying it is an amazing time for business it's an amazing time to make new deals it's an amazing time to put down those seeds that would flower and bloom and fruit in our life later on we should set the rails that would carry locomotives from one coast to the next later on this is the time to do it and we should squeeze it you know, and we have the energy to do it. Sometimes we don't believe that we can, but one breath at a time, my friends, one breath at a time. Believe me, this new moon is much more constructive and harmonious. Saying that, there is a T-square in the sky that is combustive in its attitude and in its nature. We're talking about, Georgia, your hairs are getting in my nose. Um, summer has come and I can definitely feel it. Wow. Anyway, um, Mars is in Gemini and Jupiter is in Sagittarius and they're standing head to head when from the side, 90 degrees away, uh, Neptune is looking at both of them. This is a time that our opinions, the, the, way, the way we say things, could be much less controlled. We can believe falsities and we could be incorrect or not uh, um, um, empirical and 
reliable and, and realistic enough in the way we state things and frame things in our minds. This is a time that our opinions and words could be feistier than usual, that we could be more extreme and engage in more extreme conversations or arguments or you know we could just find out that a lot of the things that have been presented were false or illusion in some way that they were motivated by uh, uh, an onlook or a ideology rather than by reality of and the nature of things that the falsity was due to a belief in some kind of theory or ideology that was disproven. It is also a time that we have a triple conjunction in the sky between Hygieia, the goddess of hygiene and health, and Uranus and Mercury. This is a time of great discoveries and health and medicine. It, it could be not just on a collective level, it could be that we start thinking outside the box, that we upgrade the way we think, that we get new ideas and new information regarding making our own life better, healthier, more hygienic, and more in tune with the harmony of nature. Um, when it comes to our relationships this week, Venus is undergoing a lot of transits during this week, it is going to square Saturn on Tuesday and then it's going to um, be trining Jupiter on Thursday and squaring Pluto. So, as I said, on the one hand, this is a time to see the seeds. This is a time to go forward and there could be some hurdles along the way. The road is not necessarily vacant of any um, challenges. And meet them head on. But when you do, remember your aim. Your aim is to get to where it is you need to be going. Not to let drama flare up. Not to uh, um, cry about the, uh, meeting a challenge along the road, but actually transcending it transforming it into something to your advantage. So when it comes to the end of the week, as Venus is going to conjunct Aries as well on Friday, it is better that we learn how to be more diplomatic. And even if we are right about things, how to sugarcoat them just enough that they could actually be swallowed by the other side. We could be moving too fast ahead or being too uh, uh, straightforward with the way we say things, with the way we state things, and even with the way we think. Um, other than that, there's one more thing I wanted to talk about. The salvation comes as planets start moving into Taurus that is going to help that structuring take place and help bring in a more harmonious and, and pleasant kind of rhythm into our lives and Mercury is going to make that change and ingress into the sign of Taurus on of Taurus of on Monday the 6th um, for some of you it might be on Tuesday and that's already going to start make things slow down a little bit and 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 make the pace a little more pleasant for all of us um, but as long as we have that triple conjunction of Mercury, Uranus, and Aegea in the sky, especially that Mercury, Uranus, which is exact on Wednesday the 8th, things are going to move fast and things can change in the blink of an eye, you know? And we can change our opinions and ideas or information can be upgraded and changed in the blink of an eye. And we need to adapt a much faster. And what is a Georgia? A more flexible, you say, cat? A more flexible pace when Uranus arrives to town. Don't get stuck on your ideas this week. And in that optimistic note, I want to tell you that I dearly want to open up a, an advanced group. So if you've studied with me before or you have good knowledge of astrology and you want to deepen it, then just contact me and join our group. And yeah, I think that's that's about everything I wanted to talk about. I hope you have a great week and I hope you have great successes this week 
And remember, success is not always present at the immediate time of the planting. Sometimes to know that you've been a good farmer, it takes years. But you have that feeling inside that you're doing it right, that you've done everything that you could on your end. And on that note, you know, we have it all wrong. There's so many people who wait for something or someone to bring their salvation. You know, in our personal lives, it could be our spouse or in, in the more grandiose scheme of things. You know, we look on to our presidents, we look on to our congressmen, we look on to our coaches and, and team leaders. All our society is based on this idea that we need to wait for a hero and follow him to our salvation. And we've got it all wrong. We are the heroes we've been waiting for. And until we recognize that in our lives, all these teardrops, all these bubbles of water that make up this vast ocean of humanity would never uh, uh, turn sweeter. That salt is going to remain there and the sea is going to remain salty until the drops themselves are going to take that salt that they have inside and do something with it. We are the heroes that we've been waiting for. It's no mistake that you're alive right now, right here. In fact, you're alive in the most important time for humanity since its creation. Now, isn't that exciting? And isn't that a big responsibility? We're walking a high rope. We're walking a high rope. What would be the consequences of our communal life here on Earth? And I'm going to leave you with that. Thank you for watching. Have a beautiful week. May you live long, prosper. Bye-bye.